Hey folks, welcome back to my kitchen. Garrett from All Breed Outdoors with another episode in our Field and Table series. So tonight we're going to do some Jaeger schnitzel, something I've been wanting to do for a while but just haven't gotten around to it. For this will be another one of the Hangshaw recipes of his uh, Buck Buck Moose book. And uh, if you haven't checked that book out, you probably should go check it out, link in the description. For this though, I'm, I have some backstrap that I slice into, into medallions and then uh, pounded them out with uh, my meat pounder here and then get it down to about a quarter inch. So you don't want to do it too hard, firm, you know, when you're uh, pounding out the, the, the cutlets because if you go too much, you'll, uh, you'll end up tearing the meat. So I've already done that part and uh, what I've got here is it sprinkled some of uh, this all-purpose flour. You can use rye or all-purpose flour. I've used all-purpose flour, that's what I have. And dusted it up pretty good and uh, well, I've got it covered pretty well. So you don't want too much flour on this. this is, you're not making country fried steak here um, for this Jaeger schnitzel. So I've done that. Now the next part, oh, don't forget, for this, preheat your oven to 175 and put a baking sheet. You'll have a baking sheet with some paper towels because when this comes out of the pan after doing the, the, the frying, you want to get it in there and let it stay warm and get um, and drain off any of that oil that's on there. So for, for that part, prep the, uh, the stove here. So you can use bacon fat, you can use lard, or you can use oil, it doesn't matter. For this, I'm using lard, put that in there and uh, um, get that nice and hot. You want it hot enough that when you sprinkle some uh, flour on there, it'll sizzle. So once that's, that's done, you're ready to go with putting the, uh, the uh, cutlets into the, into the fry pan. Looks like this is pretty good and warm. Yep, a little flour in there, it sizzles. All right, so I've got a nice big cast iron here and I've got my, uh, my lard in and I'm ready to go. Um, grab the tongs, shake off the, this excess here and then get it in. So I've big enough that I've got uh, five cutlets here so I can get them all in at the same time. All right, so they're in the pan there. Uh, two minutes on each side and then they'll be ready to go. Okay, now that I've uh, got those off the, uh, the fry pan, I'm going to drain some of this. I want to keep about three tablespoons of this uh, liquid. Alright, so I'm going to turn that back on. And what we got now is we've got our mushrooms. Throw those in. We throw the uh, mushrooms in there and then we'll throw the onions in. And we're just going to cook these, salty, saute these up just like you normally would. Alright, now we've got those sauteed down a little pretty good. We add our red wine. Bring that to a boil, which is going to be pretty quick. And then we're going to add our stock. One cup of uh, stock. And then we'll just add a little bit of uh, caraway seed and celery seed. Just a pinch. Stir that up and then we're going to let this cook down for four or five minutes. Reduced by about half. All right. We are just about done, folks. All right, so we got that reduced down. And uh, while we're doing that, I've got the, uh, while we're finishing this up, I've got the chicken on and I've got the venison in the oven. And the last step here that we got to do and so normally this would call for sour cream, but my daughter has dairy allergy, so for this we'll use goat cheese. You can make this you know, a good substitute for the sour cream. So I only need two to three tablespoons. And honestly, this, this goat cheese will probably make give a pretty good little flavor. So I, probably, I may have to heat this back up a little bit just to get this to mix in, but we'll see. Let's stir it up and see what happens. This little gravy, mushroom gravy, mushroom onion gravy thing here looks really good. And I don't think I'm going to have to heat this back up. Looks like the pan's hot enough and the gravy's hot enough. So we're going to let this mix up and let this sit here while we finish up. Shouldn't be long now, folks. We'll be eating. All right, we're all done. Looks like it came out pretty good. I probably could have done a little better job on the, uh, on the, um, flattening out the uh, venison and maybe a little bit more flour. But overall, I think for my first go at this, it looks pretty good. 
we're gonna have some salad. We've got some mashed potatoes over there. And then uh, the gravy came out. It looks really, really good. So pretty excited about that. And some chopped up some chives as a garnish. And we're all set. So I think it's about time for us to eat. As always, thanks for following along. Really appreciate you uh, continue to support us. Please don't forget, leave a like, drop a comment, let us know what you think. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.